this this is gonna be an interesting video. How can this like pig fly? When you pick these seeds out, you make sure you use gloves. Ah! Woo! Did I get you? Uh, why did I do that? Because the seeds is what makes it hot. You do what you like. Here comes chaos. Okay, now you can't touch the peppers and oil because these burn. Now I've made a mess. Good. Stop putting your face in the camera. Can I do it? No. Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna do hot peppers and oil. How I make them. <coughs> I think I'd already eaten them. No, I haven't. This is how I make them. Everybody makes them a little differently. So you can just follow along if you want or just watch how I make them. I do know one thing. We're gonna make these in my canning jars, but you cannot pressure can or hot water bath can or can peppers and oil at all because the oil will turn rancid. Now I'm laughing because I have my little helper here and she's jumping at the camera because she can't see. Want to tell him hi? Hi. You haven't seen her for a long time in my videos because you've been at your house, huh? And I haven't had to babysit her because my daughter's working from home. But due to unforeseen circumstances, she's spending the night with us tonight. How's that? We're happy about that. Are you happy about that? She's happy about that. So, so far she's had a little Debbie snack cake, a snicker bar, and two little bags of chips. Eat strawberries. I have strawberries. We did have strawberries. They are healthy. But anyway, you cannot you cannot can hot peppers in oil because the oil will go rancid. We're making these batch at a time. These are the peppers that we've got from our garden. And in the fall when we picked these, we did cut them in rings and we put them in the freezer. What can I do? You can supervise. I've just informed her that she can't touch the peppers in the oil because she'll get burned and we don't want that. So what I have down here is cheesecloth and the peppers. These are the rings that my husband and I cut up in the spring and then we or in the fall and then we just put them in the freezer and what i did i i poured some in here and then i layered a little bit of salt like a teaspoon of salt then i poured some more in and then some more salt and kind of mixed them around well they've been What's sitting this, this this is going to be an interesting video i have help they've been sitting in this salt for mm, about four hours now now we're going to rinse them and you have to rinse them really really good and squeeze the water out. Can I do it? So, no, you can't do this because you know why? why? They're hot peppers and they'll burn your hands and they'll hurt. You can watch, okay? Nope, 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 nope. Like I said, we have help. I have gloves for these that I, I wear. So, let me put my gloves on. No, nope, no. Nope, nope. If you're going to do that, you're going to have to do that. Gloves that go clear up my wrist. These are rubber, rubber gloves that I got in the Walmart section of the cleaning products. The first thing I'm going to do is just turn on my cold water. For some reason, I don't know why. Well, we want all this to rinse. We want all the salt to rinse off the peppers. How's that easy? I did this one year and didn't rinse the salt out good enough, and we had very, very salty peppers, and they were not any good. Ah! Woo! Did I get you? <coughs> <coughs> I can't breathe. I can't. You can't breathe either? Holy moly. Just rinse them Ryan really, them. really good. And I want them to stay in the cheesecloth because I really don't want to lose any of the seeds because the seeds is what makes it hot. They won't be hot peppers if they were hot. They weren't be hot. Yep. Hot is bad. Now what you want to do is squeeze all the water out of the peppers. So... Take the cheesecloth and we're just going to spin it around. You can already see the water coming out. Look at that. Okay, back up. See, I told you guys we're having help today. We're having help. See, look at all the water coming out of here. The pepper fell out. Oh, oh a pepper. We lost a pepper. I think I'm going to need to. Can I show them this little cute pig? Sure. Would you like to see the little cute pig? Okay, thank you. Okay, back it up. How can this, like, pig fly? Help, we have help today. Once you have the water squeezed out, the best you can, we're going to start putting them in canning jars. 
And there we go. Let's just squeeze the water out of them. If you notice, I have a wide mouth, mouth jar here and a regular mouth, not wide mouth. I don't know what we call these, just a regular. It's a regular one. We really would rather pick them out of here because this is something that we pick out. We pick the peppers out of here with a fork, put them on crackers and just eat them. It's a lot easier to do it out of the wide mouth. I've got both here, so we're just gonna fill both. So now all I wanna do is just start putting peppers in here. Come on, all right. Got you at one time. Just push them down there. We'll add a little more to this one. Alrighty there. We'll go to this one. We keep these in the refrigerator after I make them. And you see, I, I only make small batches at a time because I don't want them to, to go rancid. I don't want to lose peppers. Sometimes my children come over here and, and grab some. They like them too. But there, just add the peppers. The seeds that are left over in the cheesecloth, you'll see in a minute, I'll, I'll just put them the best I can in the peppers because that's what makes the peppers hot. I have a lot of seeds left, left down here. But that's what makes the peppers hot, all the seeds. That's why you use the cheesecloth, so you could see the seeds that are left over here. Our helper is left. There's a good show on TV. I guess she's into that. So we've lost our helper. When you pick these seeds out, you make sure you use gloves because they are hot. They are very hot. Moving on. Now, normally what I do, all I add is garlic powder and oregano. And I do it to taste. Now this is a tablespoon. Let's see. Okay, there's one tablespoon. A little bit overfilled, but you know what, hey. We we have found that we like it with a tablespoon. Some people use a teaspoon. We like it better with a tablespoon. That's just our preference. And then the oregano. I'm going to have to add some. A tablespoon of oregano. That one wasn't a whole table there. We'll just add. You don't have to be specific on your measurements. You do what you like. We've been eating these pretty I think this is our last batch of peppers, actually. But if you watched our, our garden videos, we had an over explosion of hot peppers. We had a lot of hot peppers. Canola oil. Now... I just add canola oil to this. Kind of, let's see, to the brim. And I'll just let it sit there because it's sinking down. There we go. All right, there's that one. Now the wide mouth. Want that go down there? There we go. Now this one, it needs more oil. Let's see, we'll just try to put that in there. Now in canning, you know, you need to keep the rim clean and, and just all the things. We're not putting these in the pressure canner. I'm putting these in the refrigerator and these will probably be gone in two weeks. They will be. Now let me show you. I'm using canning lids that I have already used because I'm not looking for a seal on these. I have this lid also from Classico Spaghetti Jar. These fit the regular mouth jars. All I do is just shake it around in there. Why can't I help? Come on up. Come on up. Bring your chair over. Here comes our helper back. But all I do is just shake it around in here and let it sit. I might add a little more oil to this one as I shake it. Hold on, she needs help with her chair. Here comes chaos. Here, so, tell them, here comes chaos. Oh no, we, we need to not have the toys up here, okay? We'll leave the toys on the floor while we video, okay? Is that okay with you? This one looks like it already needs more oil. Canola oil, I use canola oil. Why do we have the toy back up here? Put the lid on. Don't use your new lids. Don't use your lids that you haven't canned with yet. Don't waste those. And just shake it around. That's all we do. You want to shake this? You want to shake that? Also, 
You can leave them sit upside down. Put something under them if you feel like they're going to leak, but this they're not going to leak. I've let them sit upside down. Turn them over. Just do anything you, to mix them up that you want. This is how we make peppers at our house, and we, we really like them. Here, we'll just turn that upside down, let it sit for a while. And shake it. And shake it. All right. You hear that noise? I hear it. All right. <laughs> All right. There you go. This is how we do it. It's like you're turning it it's like you're turning a bottle of can upside down. Yes, we're turning a can and a bottle upside down. There you go. Easy. Easy. Very, very easy. You can even buy peppers at the grocery store and do this if you wanted to. It's very, very easy. Alright. I will see you in my next video. Bye. You wanna tell them bye? Bye. Bye. Can I put the lens on? Okay, you put the lens cover on. Bye.